don't seek out strike fight don't agree with those who plunge headlong into the middle of the flood and who, accepting a virulent life, struggle daily in great spirit with difficult circumstances. The wise person will endure that, but won't choose it choosing to be at peace, rather than at war. Seneca, Moral Letter, 28.17 has become a cliché to quote Theodore Rosa Helps Man in the Arena speech, which line is it's the own whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly. Compared with the critic who sits on the sidelines, Rosa Felt gave that speech shortly after he left office, at the height of his popularity. In a few years, he would run against his former protege in an attempt to retake the White House, losing badly and nearly assassinated in the process. He would also nearly by exploring the river in Amazon, kill thousands of animals in African safaris, and then beg Woodrow Wilson to allow him to enlist in World War I despite being 59 years old. He would do a lot of things that seem somewhat baffling in retrospect. Theodore Roosevelt was a truly great man. But he was also driven by a compulsion, the war contact to the addiction that was seemingly without end. Many of us share this affliction being driven the dumb thing we can't control. We're afraid of being still, so we seek out strike and action as a distraction. We choose to be at war in some cases, literally when peace is in fact the more honorable and fitting choice. Yes. The man in the arena is admirable. As if the soldier and the politician and the businesswoman handle the other occupations. But, and this is a big but, only if we're in the arena for the right reasons. 